Getting our first look at the police interrogation of the girls charged in the Slender Man stabbing. Michelle Fiore combed through nine hours of video. Michelle is in the newsroom to tell us what she found. Michelle. Well, Mike and Carol, you hear from the girls themselves about what a big part Slender Man had on their lives and why they felt compelled to please him. According to police, it was a plot six months in the making. With winter snow on the ground, Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire began obsessing over Slender Man, who they read about on the Creepypasta website. The girls say they wanted to be his proxies. I said, okay, how do we do that? And she said, we have to heal Bella. And did you, and you feel as though you, in order to do this, you physically had to kill somebody? Yes. Okay. But if you ask Geyser, the idea came from Wire. And he just told me we had to. Why? Because she said that he'd kill our families. The girls say opportunity presented itself in the springtime at Geyser's birthday party. Gordon said that um, at her birthday party, while Bella was sleeping, we were going to... Um, but the pair say they were too sleepy before bed, so they waited until morning. Wire told police planning the attack made her scared, but she wanted to prove Slenderman skeptics wrong. I was scared because, A, I would never see my family again, mm -hmm. and um, B, I was kind of hopeful to prove that I wasn't crazy. Geyser says the victim, Peyton, had been her best friend for years. She says she didn't choose Peyton, but went along with it. We stabbed her. It was weird. Did you stab her, her or did you still wear the knife? Most of the time I did. I wanted to hurt people before, but they're not nice to me, so they deserve it. Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser are due back in court in Waukesha County Court next month. Mike and Carol. Chilling testimony. Yeah. Thank you very much, Michelle.